Hey, what's happening? It's Eric Backer, naturopath, author of Candida Crusher. Have you checked out yeastinfection.org yet? It's an excellent website containing hundreds of articles regarding all types of conditions uh, in terms of yeast infection. You'll find lots of stuff there. If you're a guy, you'll find lots of stuff there on jock itch. If you're a woman, you'll find lots of stuff on women's yeast infections. There's lots of solutions, so go and check that site out. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about athlete's foot and jock itch. So can athlete's foot cause jock itch? Can jock itch cause athlete's foot? Can, can this particular fungal problem be transferred from the groin to the feet or from the feet to the groin? It's not really likely. We've got two different types of fungal infections here. Athlete's foot is called tinea pedis and jock itch is called tinea crudis. So uh, it's not really likely this is going to occur. And if it does occur, you know, if you're going to get a shift in a fungal condition on the exterior surface of the body in different areas, I mean, you can even get a fungal uh, condition around the ears. You can get it on the scalp. You can get it anywhere in the body. In my 20s, I had these white spots, fungal rash all over my torso and my arms. So you can get fungal skin conditions involving many types uh, uh, and places on the body. You've got to be pretty sick and have a low immune system to transfer this skin condition all around the body like that. And there's probably a big likelihood also that you've got a digestive yeast infection as well. You'll have intestinal uh, gut problems. If you've got it around the, around the scrotum, around the anal region, you've got really itchy inner thighs, and you've got athlete's foot, there's no doubt you're going to have it in the gut as well. So your digestive system will be full of fungus too that will need cleaning out. So healthy people who've just got a small amount of jock itch, uh, just a little bit here or there, and no athlete's foot, have got a lot less chance of having it in the intestinal tract. But if you've got it in several parts on the skin, there's a big chance, as I said, that you'll have it in the gut. So uh, it's not likely you're going to transfer it from the feet to the groin or groin to the feet. And if you do, you probably have got a high susceptibility and a low resistance. I wrote about this quite a lot in my book. So when you become very susceptible because you, you know your immune system's not good, you can transfer this yeast anywhere in the body. So if you want to beat this thing, you really got to get your immune system working really hard out. If you get your immune system working good, like it should, just like if you've got a good defense force or a police force, uh, you know, working well, you're going to have a low amount of criminal activity. And it's the same with your immune system. If you've got a good, powerful immune system, you're going to have a lower chance of bacterial or fungal infection. So make sure you read my articles on yeastinfection.org. And also don't forget to do my, uh, my quiz, my yeast infection quiz. will give you an idea on how severe uh, you've got this problem, whether you've got mild, moderate, or severe. If you come back severe on the quiz, then you've got a higher chance of moving it from the foot to the groin or from the groin to the foot. So check it out, and thanks for tuning in.